Welcome to the Referrals Podcast, the show designed to help everyone from the solopreneur to the Fortune 500 company win the referral game. If you want to build a company with an army of ambassadors and raving fans who speak highly of you and refer you willingly, you are in the right place. And now, here is your host, Michael J. Mayer. Welcome back, Referrals Podcast listeners. Do we have a treat for you today? Once again, this is a special edition of Referrals Podcast. It's a taste of referral mastery. Just a bite size, just a little strategy to get you going, to get you spiced up for RMS 21, which is happening in just a few short days. September 29th, September 30th, October 1st, you can go to rms21.com and get $400 off right now. That's right. We've gone virtual. We've gone crazy with these prices. And you can go to rms21.com to enjoy those for from the convenience of your home, office, or your phone. How about that? RMS 21 virtual. So the first question I have for everybody today is, I'm going to ask you a weird question. What might seem like a weird question. Now, if you're in the 7L system and Gen Gen, this isn't a weird question at all. You've heard it a lot. But the question is, out of the following four options, you can choose one and only one. And out of the following four options, how would your best friend spouse, or significant other best describe you, listener, I want you to choose a number out of the following four. One, straight to the point. Two, social and outgoing. Three, steady and dependable. Or are you four, cautious and perfectly accurate? All right, I'm going to repeat those options. One, straight to the point. Two, social and outgoing. Three, steady and dependable, or are you four, cautious and perfectly accurate? All right, Sean Woods, which one are you? Social and outgoing. So you're a number two. I'm so two. listeners, I want you all to know that if you're a one, you're going to love this because it's fast. It's quick. It's less than 20 minutes. You're going to be able to get all the uh, information in a very short time period, literally on your drive or on your walk. You get all the information. You like it. You can listen to it again. If you do a 40 minute walk, it's very power packed and quick. Twos, you're going to love this because it's social, it's friendly, it's fun, and you're going to enjoy talking to people, people like Sean Woods. Number threes, you're going to love this as well because you know what? This is not about you doing something to someone. It's not about cold calling. It's not hardcore closing or selling techniques or doing something to people. It's doing things with people, and you're going to love it because this is how you get a referral without asking for referrals. You're going to get a referral by being loving, generous, and appreciative, which, you know what, threes, you're all of that. Fours, you're going to love this because we're going to get into the details. We're going to get into the nitty and gritty, and we're going to get into specifically exactly how these referrals happened. I have to give a quick shout out to Carrie. She said, thank you for creating the generosity generation. I read 7L today in its entirety. I had planned to read just the first chapter. It's easy read format, makes it simple to really understand the concept. I really didn't want to stop reading, so I didn't, and I read it. And thanks for the jewels of information. RMS cannot get here quick enough. See you soon, Carrie. I love that. Thank you, Carrie. I appreciate you. And the call to action is Referral Mastery Summit is now virtual, rms21.com. Check it out. Use the code PODCAST, P-O-D-C-A-S-T, to get $400 off the registration. That's September 29th, 20, uh, 30th, and October 1st. Our guest today is amazing. <laughs> she is was a newer agent and a newcomer to Florida. She has successfully utilized the techniques from 7L to grow her business and her database. She went from knowing no one to she went from trash to cash. I love that. She went from knowing <laughs> no one to know that knowing the majority of her community within just a short year. She continues to build her sphere through community events, providing value and giving off authentic, uh, authentically. 
Sean lives with her husband, Randy, and a poodle, Harper, in the best place under the sun, North Palm Beach, Florida. She's very active with the Friends of the North Palm Beach Library, raising funds and promoting the library as a, as a community resource. She also serves on the Environmental Committee for the Village of North Palm Beach, advising Village Council and staff on best practices to protect and preserve our environment. So wonderful to welcome mm -hmm. our guest, Sean Woods. Welcome. Hi, thank you for having me. It's an honor. I'm telling you, it's always a joy to have you on. You're such an amazing person, and uh, you've had an amazing results in a very short time, which yeah. always excites everyone, right? They're like, how the heck did you do it? So, you know, what we're doing with a taste of referral mastery is we're talking about your last referral, you know? So how did you get your last referral or your best or most memorable uh, referral? And um, so before the, before the airing, before we even came on, you said, you literally got a referral five minutes ago. Is that yeah, true? I did. Yes. And it's just, it's also from being out there, you know, since COVID happened, Keller Williams started this thing, pivot shift call. James Shaw started a pivot shift call and we've all been on it because we didn't know what to do. And these are the same people we're zooming every day for an hour, um, for 20 minutes. And we finally got together for mega camp a couple weeks ago. And all these people I know now I've made, I've been in one-on-one -on -one with them and I just got a call from one of them said, Hey, my clients are moving from Chicago down to your way. So here they come. <laughs> and boom. So the first thing is that if you are in real estate, you need to be networking with realtors around the country, which is like what RMS is really all about, by the way. So there'll be 80% of the people that are attending are real estate agents and when somebody that knows someone in Kansas City or St. Louis want to send somebody to North Palm Beach, they send it to Sean Wood. And I mean, boom, just like that, you get a referral out of it. And um, she probably wouldn't have got the referral if she hadn't attended the event and she hadn't followed up. So how did you follow up with the people that attended that event? Well, I brought little, small little gifts to everybody. Okay. And little giveaways. What were they? I want to know. I'm, I'm, okay. I'm genuinely curious and I want to okay. know why I haven't gotten one yet. I'm okay, just kidding. you need one. I have one here. It's, um, it's wine Oh my cap. gosh. Now we went straight from audio to you got to watch this on YouTube. How about that? Yeah. So this is from Capabunga. It is a wine cap that goes on top of your wine. It's all logoed out. Yep. And uh, my friends make these and they go on your wine, they'll fit your wine bottle will fit in the door because you know yeah. when the cork's there or it will lay on its side and will not leak. I love it. And it's, all, the, it's all lettered up. Yeah. And yeah. wine seems to be a central theme to this. I like that. So, <laughs> yeah. so you got a wine cap. I love it. Yeah, and so I think about wine caps. And then a I, wine I, cap I for their notes. night cap. I love it. Yeah. I, I texted and sent notes um, to everybody because it's really, we became more than a community. We became a family. Yeah. And when we think about each other and we talk to each other, it's like brings tears to eyes with that close. It's I love great. It. I love it. And the follow-up had everything to do with that, right? I mean, if you just disconnected, yeah. went back to your community and did what you did, it wouldn't have the same feel, wouldn't have the Correct. same thing. Yeah. Power notes. And um, yeah. Yep. Yep. I love it. So, well, when we called you to have you on A Taste of Referral Mastery and Referrals Podcast, you actually had another referral in mind when we were talking about your last referral. And and as you so eloquently put it in the email, you went from trash to cash. So right. you've got to talk about what is this? How did you go from trash to cash? So I was new in the community. I didn't know how to get connected to people. So I started attending beach cleanups. And then when I got there, everyone was already clicked out. You know, they're in their clicks. I couldn't get in. So I said, well, I'm just going to do it in my neighborhood. I start picking up trash. This lady, Kathy, sees me, thinks I'm homeless, feels sorry for me. <laughs> so I gotta, but she knew, as an, she knew as an agent. She came to one of my open houses. And so we go each go our separate ways. 20 minutes later, she's emailing me, call me. I got a referral for you. And it, it was a tricky one. I handled it you know, amazingly gave her great service and a lot of follow-up and notes, all this. And, uh, you know, it turns out she was a paralegal for an estate attorney. So I got a few listings from her and now I've done such a great job. She's my number one word of mouth mm. ambassador in the community. 
I mean, anything goes on. She sees a pod in anyone's driveway. I'm the first to know about it. <laughs> <laughs> she she is an unpaid salesperson walking the streets of your area yes. working as an unpaid salesperson for you right she's an yep. ambassador that's that's what i love and you know it's not a one-way connection right you you have built a relationship with her so tell yep. us about that like how did you build the relationship over time other than you know maybe having a common interest of the environment and uh the handwritten notes and the power notes that you used early on what's that look like over time well, over time, so her uh, her attorney's office, I had a pie giveaway at my house, and he was one of the sponsors. And so um, he was there, and, and I helped him get some leads. You know, I had the, um, the sign-in sheet, and I always do a giveaway, and I asked people if they want to know about estate planning, and so some people said yes. That's awesome. So, boom, leads for him. So you implemented the strategy of event mastery, right? Yeah. And that and that led to kind of the way we throw events here here in Gen Gen, which is, you know, you're gonna partner with a charity, you're going to have sponsors, and uh, you're going to have uh, giveaways and door prizes with the aspect of not just generating referrals for yourself, but also generating leads for your sponsor partners, right? Exactly. And on that sheet, you said, hey, listen, would you have, you know, would you have some interest? And you did you create this question with the help of the estate attorney or did you just put on there, you know, would you have the need for an estate attorney? Cause you didn't know what question to ask. Yeah, I just did it. He's, he's really kind of shy, um, yeah. a little more introverted. So I did it and you know, well, Kathy and I did it cause you know, she really runs the office. Yeah. Okay? Just be clear. And, um, it was really great for him and he got, you know, he was so grateful to have the people that he got. Yeah. And well, I'm guessing that nobody else has ever generated leads for him before, you know? No, they haven't. And he just thought the system was just so amazing. And, and they had a great time and they left with a pie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's just the plus of all that. They're, they're like, I just came for a pie and I ended up walking out with two or three new pieces of business, which is what we want our sponsor partners to, to, uh, you know, really, to really realize and, and experience it. Well, did, uh, so what did that pie day event cost you? What was the what was the you know final profit margin if you will? It may cost me 150 bucks. Yeah. So after it was all uh, said and done, yeah. After it was all said and done, you had you had netted uh, basically plus or minus you had act, it actually cost you 150 bucks because yeah. of sponsors and, and yeah, yeah. Well, the sponsors just brought some pies, prizes, but um, that's when I was still relatively new and the budget wasn't that big. Yeah. So yeah. I, I kind of just made it happen. So are you going to have a pie day this year? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, I just, man, I, I need this COVID to go away so we can get around people. Cause you know, us uh, number twos, you know, the social not going people, yeah. we start wilting. <laughs> well, I'll tell you the beautiful thing about the pie day. And by the way, uh, we, I, I wasn't necessarily going to talk about this, but you know, we are ho hosting event mastery in October and November. For seven okay. weeks, I'm going to oversee event mastery class and I'm going to help anyone who wants to have a pie day, have a pie day. And the way that we're doing the pie day is a pickup party as you know, which is COVID friendly everywhere. So, mm -hmm. you know, I'm going to help them run a COVID friendly event or a, a quarantine friendly event, no matter where they're at. And okay. we'll do it in the form of a, a pickup party. And even some people that are going to take event mastery class will uh, be in a way where the people don't even have to get out of the car to mm -hmm. do the pickup. And I mean, I don't care how scared you are, you know, you got to get out, you got to drive around a little bit, experience nature, experience the world a little bit, and you get a pie for doing it, you know? So uh, I'm going to help people step-by-step step go through that. You can check it out at eventmasteryclass.com. I will also be talking more about that during rms21.com. So you're a big proponent to to the events and um, yeah. and and helping your sponsor partners out. So can like if you were going to give advice to someone who was like you, newer to an area, mm -hmm. and you know within a year it's almost like everybody in the area knew your name, but they didn't know your name because you plastered it on bus uh, benches or billboards or any of that. 
They knew your name as someone who was loving, generous, appreciative, and the ambassador of kindness. Yes. Because <laughs> you are the ambassador of yes. kindness within Genjin. You know, you, you built a reputation for, for being, you know, polished, professional, luxury, and kind, you know. So, so how did you do that within a year? So I was really interested in the, in the environment and I just got the idea, hey, what if I adopted this park? Didn't cost me anything. And then how about I hold my own cleanup here in my neighborhood? And I went on next door and I just started posting about it. And I said, come on over. And I went to the local donut shop and I said, hey, would you be interested? He didn't know me. I said, would you be interested in sponsoring um, some donuts for this thing? Because, you know, who's not going to come for a donut? And he said, I'll do it if you buy the coffee. I said, deal. So I bought coffee. He sponsored me three dozen donuts. And that's where I really got my start because I posted it all over next door. And I couldn't believe my turnout. It was the village manager, almost all of the council, bunch of neighbors. And they're just like, who is this person? She's doing this. And that's how the environmental committee got started, which I'm a member of. And it's it's how a lot of things are happening. And now fast forward three and a half years, village manager calls me to advise him on real estate matters for the village. <laughs> so. Um, your that, advisor, you're a trusted advisor to not just yeah. your clients, but to uh, to the leadership of the area, right? Yes, I mean, and, all in a short time. Yeah. yeah, and I'm also kind of like the unspoken lobbyist for village residents who, see a problem, they will message me on Nextdoor now because they know I knew, know who, how to get things done, who to contact. It's very interesting. You're, you're a woman of influence in the area. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and what's interesting is just like how it all started was a small event, you know, yeah. but a small event, not, you know, this isn't I love you latte, right? This isn't the pickup party for donuts mm -hmm. or for pies or for you know all the thousands of events that we've spoken about this was exactly what we want people to do which is have an event around what you're most passionate about you know you you would have cleaned up on your own but you know in this case it's always better and more fun to clean with other people especially if you're a high number two you know so so you 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 made it a party you know, and, and then, then you're like, well, I'll have donuts and I'll buy some coffee, which is, you know, pick up party for National Donut Day mixed with I love you latte, you know, mm -hmm. and we're, you know, and this is just a side question. I'm genuinely curious. Sean, you're, you've done so well and I'm so proud of you and you know, just like the sky's the limit for you. And it's, 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 uh, it's so great to see where you are, but more importantly, like, like where you're going. And, and yeah. I mean, once like you, you've established yourself as influential, not from a power position but from a love position you right. know and and uh i love that so were you in event mastery class when you did the cleanup i'm just I'm, yes so that's when that all started yes oh my gosh mm -hmm. mm. yeah wow and i and i was like okay how am i gonna do it it cost me 25 bucks to buy the coffee and I met, I met a ton of people in the neighborhood. I met all the influential people. And now, um, and now I'm doing uh, the International Coastal Cleanup, which is coming up. And I've got guest speakers from the Reef Institute, Environmental Resource Management. The Village is sponsoring it. That's awesome. And I, I mean, got that's, <laughs> I got really it, it started with picking up trash in your own neighborhood, essentially, you know, right yeah. down the, the street and then making it a little bit bigger with the park. And, you know, I guess, I guess that does lead to, you know, what advice do you have for someone such as you who wants to implement a strategy similar to what you did to get referrals? Well, get out of your head and get an action. Just do it. You know, don't, don't be stopped by the what ifs. Yeah, buts. Just do it, get in action you learn as you go. You know, every, everything that you, every mistake is a learning opportunity. You know, mm -hmm. every obstacle is just a detour in the right direction. Just keep going, get in action. That's where performance happens. I love it. And Sean, you're speaking at RMS 21. Yes, I am. Yes. On, on how to do an event, how to do it, you know, how to get out there, how to get those people and check your ROI, see your ROI.
I love it. We got we got to we got to balance our ROI with our ROF, which is our return on fun, right? So yeah. I will tell you right now that uh, listen, this is one of those podcasts people need to listen to over and over again because I didn't have time to necessarily dive into some of the details about what she's doing. Now you can do that one of two ways. You can listen to this over again, or you can go to RMS21, rms21.com. Go there, $400 off if you use the code podcast. Sean will be speaking. And in fact, all of the people that are on our Taste of Referral Mastery series, the 10 days leading up to RMS are also doing breakouts at RMS21. I'm telling you, this is the event you can't miss, in my opinion, just because we're so focused on the database. And the database is what is paying off for people in the environment. I mean, how's that door knocking going through quarantine, right? I mean, it's like, that's just a tough gig. So I think the bottom line is, is we're going to show you ways to get lots of business and have your best year ever uh, at RMS 21. Sean, I just want to thank, say thank you so much again for being a guest on podcast and, and delivering so much value. Thank you. And thank you, Michael. You're the one who launched my career because without understanding these principles in your book, 7L, I, that's, that's really what I implement to, to get where I'm at. I use it everywhere. Well, I appreciate that. Here's the thing. You're the one that launched your career. I, <laughs> yes, I just want to, I just want to reinforce that. Like we have people that like, well, you know, they'll come up and say, you changed my life, Michael. And it's like, no, I didn't. You changed your life. So yeah. kudos to you. Maybe what I did was a little bit of inspiration and right. an environment, you know, or a system that helped you take the first step, but okay. you had to take the first step and the second step and the third step. So kudos to you for, for your implementation. Yeah. And that's what I love about referrals podcast is we're not interviewing these, these people who've never done it, say they did it. You know, they, they have pictures of themselves being wealthy, trying to sell things to poor people to get wealthy. And it's one of those where it's like, you know what? It's real stories, real people, real referrals. And uh, you're as real as it gets. And I appreciate you. Thank you. Appreciate you as well. Ladies and gentlemen, this is one you're not just going to want to listen to. You also want to go to our YouTube channel, get referrals, and subscribe to that if you get a chance because you're going to want to see the visual that she put up earlier in the show. Ladies and gentlemen, we will see you tomorrow on A Taste of Referral Mastery, a special episode of Referrals Podcast. We'll see you tomorrow, everyone. Bye.